It yeah. is the end of an era for yeah. England. Well, I don't think I'm shocked. I'm surprised. I'm 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 not shocked that he they give up the you know the job. I'm surprised he comes so early. So it tells me yeah. that he made his mind up. If we get beat, because they play the game Sunday, travel home Monday, Tuesday and resigns. You know, if 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 you didn't know what you was going to do, you I, I think. Well, the sensible thing would do say, I'm going away with the wife and kids, I'm going for a nice holiday, I'll make my mind up in a couple of weeks. But yeah, so I think he did already made his decision. Were you, were you shocked he was so quick in a way? Yes, and um, but yeah. I also agree with you. I think he probably made his decision and told the players, yeah, probably that Monday when they were flying back or whatever it was, because I just feel like they were all prepared for it and we weren't as, as such, even yeah. though we were waiting for some confirmation of when that was going to be. Mm. But I agree with you. I think what about it, if, he, if he'd won the game. Do you think then? I think I think it took. But when you take your time, I think if he'd won it, it's quite hard to say I don't want to then take this team to the World yeah. Cup. Yeah. So I agree with you. I think it all obviously hinged on whether he won. I, or lost. Yeah, I just I, I just don't. He, he's not a rash decision. He's not disappointed now. You know, for me, it, it was really really quick. A couple of games after the game, after the couple of days after the game, that he's come out and uh, resigned. Mm. So I just hope he don't. Regret it in a couple of weeks' time after he's had holiday. Indeed. Well, of course, the news broke mid-morning yesterday, and as always, Talksport was the best place to be for all the reaction. The FA has confirmed that after eight years and 102 matches in charge, Gareth Southgate will step down as England manager. He's got us all together. Some magical moments as well. So for me, he does deserve a knighthood. No knighthood. Thank you, though. You've done a great job. Now someone else get us over the line. The whole idea that he's failed is nonsense. Sir Bobby Robson, who got a knighthood, got to the semi-final. He never got to a final. Yes, we didn't win, but I don't see it as a failure. Before the tournament, I've always said we're not going to win anything under Gareth Southgate, right? That's how I've always felt. You've got to give credit where it's due to a certain degree because the most successful manager since Sir Ralph Ramsey. He absolutely deserves to go up with his head held high. He's given English football supporters some amazing uh, nights. He's given them a lot to cheer about, a lot to be proud of. How people see football managers and and how they judge them, it's just crazy. I think he did okay. In my head, I had seven and a half. I think the biggest compliment was almost uniting the nation because I think he'd done a very good job. I'm not going to go get carried away and say he'd done an outstanding job because I don't think he did. It amazes me that people actually think that, well, we used to win trophies every week and then Gareth turned up and we're only getting to finals now. You know, he's done a wonderful job personally. Southgate took us from rock bottom to the brink of glory. So long, Southgate. You came so close, but it just wasn't to be. So England are on the hunt then for a new manager. After 102 matches at the helm, stretching eight years, Gareth Southgate has quit as the Three Lions boss after defeat by Spain in Sunday's Euro 2024 final. He um, stepped up from the under-21 Southgate to take charge of the senior side following Sam Allardyce's abrupt exit in September 2016 and guided England to the semi-finals of the 2018 World Cup. He then led his side to the final of Euro 2020, which they then lost on penalties to Italy at Wembley before a quarter-final exit at the 2020. World Cup. His former England teammate Stuart Pearce said on TalkSport's Southgate special last night that the timing was right. Not surprised if I'm being honest with you. I think um, probably it, it, it'd run its course. I think there's a lot of people at this moment in time will make uh, a, a decent case for it. Was he, he done a brilliant job or they've been underwhelmed a little bit by the job that he's done. But for me... I think he, you know, he's done a wonderful job personally. That's my opinion. He, he's taken us to two finals, and th- there was no foundations whatsoever before he arrived at the FA. Make no mistake about that, you know. Mm. Oh, so that was what Stuart Pearce had to, to say on it. And I know you sort of mentioned about the the timing of this decision, but how would you sum up Southgate's tenure? We got to say it's, he's done. He's done well. I think it's well. Limited. I hope this doesn't happen, but in years to time, years to come, you look back and say, well, when we had Sarah Gavgate, mm. Sarah Gavgate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even speak, well? I've got glasses on, I can't even speak. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if we look back and say, what a great era that was. Mm. You know, because we look, before he come, we were struggling. Yeah. People forget that, you know. it's it's Be careful what you wish for, and you know, I think he's, he's done well. I think he's, he brought, it's it sort of done what Germany done years before. Germany sort of, we was, we, was it Iceland we got beat, wasn't it? Yeah. Iceland beat us. Then we had to start again. And he's come, he's laid the foundation as we was talking earlier. He knew the players he was going to bring through. He was, I think he was lucky that he sort of got a golden era with a, with the talent that was coming through. But uh, yeah, I think we, we, we will miss him and I think we might regret this decision. 
It's a hard one, isn't it? Because, like you say, a lot of us are saying it's probably the right time. Yeah. But I'm a little sad. I'm, well, I'm a little sad by get it. Get to the finals. I think you get to finals, semi-finals. I don't think that's a failure. I know no. people say we was lucky we was at the right side of the draw, but you're still playing international football. You're still playing good players, good teams, well-organised teams that, that set up to sort of beat England and stop England playing. So we got to the final. I, don't, I think if you lose semi-finals and finals... I don't think that's a failure. As, mm. as a footballer, you know, he's gutting, but I think they've done all right. They've done all right. I think we, we might struggle now. Well, before Gareth Southgate took over, what was it? We only reached two semi-finals since the 1966 World Cup. There we go. And that's in all major tournaments. And you see, England fans, if you're so, if you're sort of, so he's eight years, so if you're sort of 20 years, 20 years old and younger, <laughs> you think England do this all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this Man City. It's like the Man City, it's isn't it? The Man City true. scenario. If you, yeah, if you're, under, but if you're sixty year old, you know, you can't even remember. You have to go be near seventy to remember. That's fifty eight years ago, the wow. World Cup. So you well, got to be yeah. in your seventies to to remember mm. well, how good it, it was. For a long time, it's been a hard slog yeah. watching England, um, especially when it shouldn't have been because we've had some really good players yeah. in that time. But it's always felt like it's just been a bit of a slog. And yeah. Euro 1996 was the yeah. last time I ever cried at football because I was like, that's it. I can never cry at football again because it was so <laughs> upsetting, that <laughs> penalty terrible, shootout. Because yeah. I really felt we were yeah. on the cusp of something in that particular competition. Um, but, I mean, like I say, Gareth Southgate has taken us to two finals, a semi-final, a quarter-final. That is a win for yeah. many countries. That is a win. I know I it's think, not a trophy, but it is a win. I think a lot of people are putting performances in front of results. Mm. It's the way we've won, you yes. know, we, the way we've played. And I think a lot of that, that, that upset a lot of people. It's the way we, the way we won. But yeah. winning's winning, surely. Yeah. You know? Although, ultimately... And he- it was exciting, wasn't it? It was. I it mean, was. the one nil down there. Oh, wasn't it exciting? You know, and uh, you know, you see the scenes of people in the pub. I was at working for Chalk Sport at Box Park, Wembley. I mean, it was when we equalised. Wow. Is this the Netherlands game? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, the, the last. The, oh, sorry, the, the final. final. Sorry, 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 the final. When we when we equalised, I mean, it was I know. crazy. You know, for t- five six minutes, it was we was all singing. Well, in. and this is. I mean, look, it's been long talked about the review of that game in particular. But you know, to to get back level, it yeah. felt like England were on the ascendancy. There we and go. then the same thing happened. They dropped back. Yeah. And then we Offside all know goal. what happened. <laughs> uh, quite. No, but, but so, this is the first time I've been a proper football fan. You know, because ah, when, you're next, when you're an ex-footballer, it's you too cool. It's the first time I've worn an England shirt to an England game. Oh, really? I had an England shirt on. Because I'm cool, I'm razor. You can't but you do believed that. in it as well. I believe this is the first tournament because ex-footballers, you can't walk in a pub with a football top on you. Know, that's not cool because we're cool. <laughs> do you know what I mean, Natalie? So this is the first time I've not been cool. Yes. And I'm watched, but I'm glad it's over. It's yeah. hard work, two games a week. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting old, the old headache. <laughs> the next day, it's not too good. And when we kept winning like we was, I mean, you've got to stay behind for another hour, haven't you? Another, well, of course. Have another glass, another glass of Pinot. So I'm glad, I'm glad the tournament is over so I can rest now. Yes. But it was it was absolutely... First time I've been a football fan, and it's... it's it, oh, and it gets you going, doesn't it? It gets a heart. But that's because we did... Learn to love this team again. Yeah. We learned to believe that something could yeah. happen. Like you're cuddling people, are cuddling people they've never met in their life when England has scored. And the pubs love it because everyone's chucking their beers up in the air and they've got to buy another pint. I don't get the chucking <laughs> the beers. I don't get that. I don't get that. Why are you wasting your money? They're expensive. <laughs> no, enough. no, the pubs are going, yes, waste your money, waste <laughs> your money. That's true. That but, is you know, true. But to get to the final, like the pub, it's like a New Year's Eve for the pub, isn't it? Every game they got through is another New Year's Eve for the pub. So it was great for them. Yeah. Right for the pub. Industry. Yes, it was a boost to that economy, if yes, you like. It was. Uh, but we want to know this morning then about what's next then for England with the Southgate era over. How do you sum up his time in charge? Uh, how and who should replace him? Uh, you can give us a call. Um, we would love to hear from you this morning on 03717 You can text us as well to 81089. Uh, coming up, we are going to get all the reaction from the back pages to Southgate's departure. That's next. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.